We've been together 20, 20 practices. We've got to continue to learn. What a great opportunity in this game, an NCAA tournament team that's well coached. First game out of the gate. They're going to rain on our parade. They may. They may. You know, if they want it worse than our team, then they may. We got to go out and see what we're made of and what we're about for a November, what's the date? 13th? Friday the 13th. The me November 13th game. Eric is one of the most intelligent players I've coached on both offense and defense. And he also has unbelievable instincts. See, in this offense, you got to, there's a lot of keywords you call. Keyword, bang. And this kid, I call a keyword, boom, he's right into it. No, now, what he's got to start doing is being more vocal. So he's smart in his own mind. Now he's got to get that brightness and that creativity and spread it out and talk to his teammates and get them to go. He'll do it with a head nod where they may need to yell, hey, yo, oh, oh. and he's just not used to doing it. But I'll tell you, really, really intelligent player. Is the drop off from, from John to Eric not as much as a lot of people think it might be? Well, you know, John is, is special and, and, and adds a, John is more advanced in his conditioning and his pace of game than Eric. That's it. If Eric went as hard as he did up and down the court, you'd see the same kind of speed. And, um, and we're, we're trying to get that balance. And, but it's, uh, Eric is fine. I mean, Eric, let me just tell you, we've got two of the best point guards who will play together. You know, and I know there are other point guards that are more experienced, and there may be some just as talented and all those things. But these two together, they like each other, and they, all, they both know when they're on the court, each one of them's better. John's better with Eric on the court, and Eric's better with John on the court, and they know it. And that's a good thing.